Hey beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another pill card reading on the thoughts of you today. So I also want to add that I'm open for personal readings and chakra cleansings. So if you wish to book a reading or a cleansing with me, you can message me on my email or my Instagram. My email and my Instagram ID are both available in the description box. I also have a second channel, White Lily Insight, where I post readings related to your spiritual journey and finances. So if you're interested in such content, the link is available in the description box or in the comments section. And finally, the timestamps to your reading are available in the description box or in the comments section. So don't forget to check that out as it will take you to reading for this reading today i've picked out three piles for the first pile we have the rose quartz for the second pile we have the green aventurine And finally, for the third pile, we have the sword light. So choose whichever pile or crystal you feel drawn to the most. Just close your eyes, take a deep breath and feel whichever crystal or card calls out to you the most. And basically that's your reading. Hey pile one, those of you who chose the rose quartz, this is your reading. So let's get into it. Let's figure out what are your person's thoughts of you today. So we straight up have the ace of cups as your overall energy. So basically your person is thinking about confessing their feelings or being open and vulnerable about themselves in general okay about who they are like taking off their mask because they've been pretending to be someone that they're not just to impress you just to be on your good side but that's not how things work and your person finally understands that which is why they want to come clean and be honest about everything and anything that has happened in their life it's like they just want you to know about them completely it's like you know they just want to share everything with you because they feel that connection, they feel that pull, that magnetic pull towards you. So they can't ignore this vibe, they can't ignore this feeling, so they're ready to accept it, they're ready to not run away from it. Okay, they're giving up, they're surrendering. They're thinking about surrendering though. Still, you know, you don't know what your person's thinking, like what they're intending to do. But yeah, like this person is very moody, I would say, because they change their, like, they change their mind pretty quickly. So as of now, this person is interested in being open about things, okay? They're trying to think about this connection with an open mind. They're trying to consider their heart and not, they're trying to be emotional. Maybe this person is very practical and they don't, they don't believe in, like, you know such things like soulmates or you know love basically the i think they gave up on it a long time ago after you know after some experiences that they went through some negative experiences so this connection is reminding them of is reminding them of how beautiful life could be when you have someone to love or when someone loves you okay so this person is very much interested in having a future with you i would say they are thinking about a future they are thinking about you know dedicating their life towards this connection towards you in general i would say okay so let's get some more cards to see what else are they thinking we have the sun Okay, we have some cards. We have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. We have the four of wands. Ten of pentacles. Okay, now this was very unexpected. Pile one. Ten of pentacles. Queen of swords. 
and the five of pentacles okay so i see what's going on here by the one your person is keeping a close eye on you maybe you guys are in a separation right now and this person is trying to rekindle or renew the connection in a way okay they don't want to repeat the past they want to they want they want to make this work at all costs because you're very important you have a big impact on their life you are just everything that they wish for in a person and you're like the perfect person you're like the perfect match or something never never believed in soulmates before you but after they met you they were like yeah this is the one this is this is the person i'm meant to be with okay so they definitely picture a life with you that's for sure like that's that's being portrayed in like four cards here in the majority of these cards the sun ace of cups the four of wands the ten of pentacles they see you as a part of their family you are their family okay i would say you are their family they want to be with you they want to marry you they want to put a ring on that finger maybe some of you guys are already married okay and this person is just you know having a hard time expressing their feelings or you know just being open in general so they're they're just like appreciating the connection they're appreciating how understanding you are how much you've done for them how much efforts like how much effort you've put in to this connection to make this work basically and you know like they're near death or something there's this uh You know how how would we put this? Okay, like they need to balance the connection. That's what they're thinking. Okay, because you've done a lot. Pile one. In their eyes, you've done a lot for this connection. So basically, what I'm also seeing is that you know this person is realizing how they're comfortable with you. Like their inner child is comfortable with you. Like they can be open with you. Like there's something about being open here. By one your person maybe is very is a reserved person they don't like talking to people or it's just that they do it just for you know business purposes or just for you know work or just for having some friends okay like they just do they, they just communicate for you know such formalities but you know other than that they they don't like communicate yeah, so I can see that there's this distance between you guys. This person wishes to close the gap. They wish to just get closer to you. That's what they're thinking about. They're trying to like take out, like they're, they're making, I would say plans, but that's not the right word though. Like they're trying to, they're just trying to make you more comfortable with them because they feel like you're being like you know okay um they feel like they assume that you feel left out okay that they're not giving you enough attention or time or energy so they need to like live up to your expectations that's what they're thinking okay and if you guys are not married okay they are thinking about marriage heavy like that's like the main energy here marriage okay and having kids maybe some of you guys do have kids with this person or it's just that um this person wants to have kids they want to create something long lasting with you they want this to last forever and ever okay because people like you are just very hard to come by and your person uh, like has respect for that thought they have that you know they value this connection they value you if you guys do have doubts you know if this person is still interested or if this person misses you or something they do miss you okay they miss you i feel like this is a long distance connection for some of you guys okay if this is a long distance connection this person wishes to travel towards you you know like give you a bouquet or something give you flowers i'm getting flowers here have maybe some of you guys really love flowers so they just want to like gift you flowers and impress you again make like preserve that smile on your face okay but i can see that you know this person is the happiest whenever they're with you they are you know thinking about how happy you make them and how happy they make you 
So, it's like, you guys need to be together. You guys are meant to be together. It's destiny. That's what they're thinking. This this was meant to happen. You guys are meant to meet each other. You guys are meant to fall in love with each other. Okay, that's what they're thinking about. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So, and yeah, they're keeping a close eye on you. Like, they're very... Like, they're trying to keep themselves up to date as to what you like, what you dislike, and what you're doing, uh, uh, like, recently. If you guys are in a separation, this person is, you know, digging up info on what you're doing. Or if you if you guys are, are on social media, this person is keeping close tabs on you. Okay, so, yeah, I'm just, you know, letting you guys know. And they're also thinking about just, you know, how beautiful you are, how handsome you are, how like pure you are okay, how pure the connection is so yeah like definitely you guys will end up together like that's for sure many of you guys might end up together because like i can see that you guys will keep each other happy even though you guys have gone through some really toxic experiences or really negative experiences from that your person is from those experiences your person is trying to learn okay and they're trying to not make those mistakes again they're not trying to like repeat the past they're learning from it and they will lead a positive future if you guys give your person a chance okay because i can see that maybe some of you guys are already like you know interested in someone else or it's just that you guys are have moved on you're not that interested so it's it's completely up to you if you want to be with this person it's completely up to you it's your choice it's your call if you don't feel right with this person move on there's no one stopping you okay so yeah well i guess this is all that i have for you guys today i hope this resonated and i hope you enjoyed this reading i Hope to see you guys soon if this didn't resonate you can check out the other files in this reading or check out more videos on my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys. Have a good day and be safe. Hey pile 2. Those of you who chose the green eventually. This is your reading. So let's get into it. We have the queen of wands as your overall energy today. So let's see. What is your person thinking about you? Your person is definitely thinking about how attractive and unique you look. Like you're one in a million sort of a person in your person's eyes, okay? Like for sure, this person just feels like on top of the world whenever they're around you. They see you as royalty, I would say. Okay, like you're the most beautiful, the most handsome person they've ever seen in their lives. Okay, so I, I, I would say that they only have eyes for you. So if you guys do have some doubts in regards to this person or this connection, there is no question about it. Your person is only attracted to you. You are their number one and no one can replace you because you are just irreplaceable. You're irresistible in your person's eyes. No one compares. Nothing stands in front of you okay like for sure like your determination your action-oriented attitude your 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 ambition it's just the way you work towards it the way you try to make things happen it's just very attractive in your person's eyes everything about you is attractive you're perfect just the way you are okay so yeah let's see what else am i getting <clears throat> they have a lot of passion towards you they love your bold attitude but you know you're not just like you're generous at the same time even though you're action oriented and you're bold you're, you don't settle for anything less you're, but you're very grounded and humble at the same time and that's what's rare and unique about you so your person is very inspired by this. They're very motivated to do better in life. It's just that they don't know how to approach it. They don't know how to actually, they're thinking about how to like reach 
reach you basically meet you on your level or something so that you know they can meet your expectations like a person like you would have huge expectations for you know for your love interest so that's how they think and they could never meet those expectations they do have some insecurities because they put you on a pedestal that's really obvious so let's get some more cards okay we have the two of cups we have the nine of wands but they're not giving up even though they're insecure even though they lack at some things they are still ready to they're still ready to change they're ready to make this work okay we have the ten of cups here so that's very like obvious that this person is does see you as their as you know their future they want to build a future with you they want to have a stable like foundation with you because they love you okay they have a lot of love for you they respect you they value you and they only see you there's nothing ahead of you with the star here nothing stands in comparison to you because no matter who they meet how many people they associate with you would always shine through you stand out in a crowd for your person they're just thinking about you know it's like they're complimenting you loki like they're just you know they just they just always think about how good you are at this or how beautiful you are how handsome you are how attractive you look how how business minded you are how charismatic you are how brave you are like the list goes on okay it goes on there are a lot of things they just don't know when to stop with the three of cups here i see that maybe you guys are just friends right now or you know you guys are just um are you guys are dealing with a third party situation here maybe you know the third party situation could be their insecurities it could also be a specific person maybe on your side you have someone okay maybe you're in a relationship and this is someone else that you're asking about or it could also be from your, on, on your person's end maybe they are involved with someone else they're in a relationship but they have a lot of liking towards you and they're maybe you know planning to break up with that person but regardless of whatever the situation may be this person doesn't care this person wants to make this work they want to have a reunion they want to meet up with you again they want to go out with you again spend more time with you make memories that's what they're thinking about they're thinking about how much they love you they're thinking about how much you love them like how the world would be like if you guys had the same amount of feelings for each other because they do feel insecure okay like they feel like that you don't actually you you don't see them in that way or something okay they need confirmation okay they need conf confirmations again and again that yeah you do love them that yeah like everything's fine and because it, because your person lacks confidence they lack self esteem and the reason why they're so attracted to you is because of your confidence and that that confidence makes you stand out more it's like a quality that they wish they had which is why they admire you they adore you for who you are okay like your confidence okay something that they wish they had okay so you're like a perfectionist in their eyes i would say maybe you guys do have kids with this person if you guys don't have kids this person wants to have children with you that's for sure okay you are their light and their darkness you make them feel alive okay because if you they have hope they believe in positivity because before they met you they were just done they were done with love they were done with this uh, with this topic they didn't want to come back but you made them you made them feel like they're in heaven you are heaven for your person you're like an angel or something okay i'm, I'm going too far with this but that's what i'm getting here pile two for you guys your person is just addicted to your energy you are a drug for your person a literal drug okay and yeah like they don't want to ruin whatever you guys have right now they're trying to muster up the courage to reach out this person is just admiring you from afar you're like the center of attention in this person's eyes 
and I don't know what you guys do but this person is just so like impressed by you like this person is just thinking about this person always thinks about you like they can't stop thinking about you they get dreams about you okay they see you as the one they see you as the one they want to grow old with they want their forever with it's not a joke this feeling is not a joke pile two for sure this person this person loves you a lot like they're crazy about you they're crazy they can't control it they can't control their feelings they can't control what's what's on their mind when it comes to you they're ready to do anything in order to keep you happy that's what i'm getting they're almost like obsessed i would say they're obsessed or crazy crazy in love okay so yeah i don't think like i have any other messages for you guys today i hope this resonated and i hope you enjoyed this reading if this didn't resonate you're free to check out the other parts in this reading or check out my videos on my channel and i'll see you guys soon take care you guys bye have a good day and be safe hey pile three those of you who chose the sword light this is your reading so let's see what is the person thinking about you we have the six of swords as your overall energy today okay your person is thinking about traveling or moving forward in the connection okay if you guys are in a long distance connection with your person this they just want to travel towards you have a reunion catch up with things and be together yeah they wish to communicate as well they want to have a conversation a deep conversation with you where you guys discuss whatever is going on and you guys are honest about your feelings because if they do have some regrets okay like they they feel regretful they are guilty they feel guilty for not being completely honest with you maybe they've lied to you they deceived you in one way or another okay about something and they just want to come clean okay they want to do you right they want to be fair in the connection that's what's coming through okay they just want to run away from run away with you they want to run away with you they're thinking about running away from the society from you know the obstacles that are in the way like why can't you guys just be together that's what they're thinking that frustration okay is getting your person your person is all, all over the place right now this person just wishes that they could have you in their arms right now okay like yeah like why aren't you guys together is it why is it so hard to have you in their life why is it so hard to be with you that's what they're thinking okay we have the world we have the page of cups we have the queen of cups and we have the ten of wands okay now i see what's going on and we have the ten of cups so that's for sure that this person is very much interested in you and they do think about our future maybe you guys already have kids with this person or maybe you guys might be married to this person if you're not married yet and if you don't have kids this person wants to have kids okay so be careful if you're around this person and you know if you guys aren't married yet this person is thinking about marriage i, I gotta say that and with the page of cups here this person feels like a page okay and they see you as a queen or a king like depending on your gender so we also have the world here and we have the queen of cups okay yeah so i'm getting long distance vibes here sorry about that long distance vibes here maybe you guys are at a long distance from your person or they wish they just they're just thinking about traveling with you running away like literally running away okay conquering the world with you that's what they're thinking about and with the page of cups they feel like a page in front of you they see you as someone who is very mature like mature as in responsible reliable who's a provider who has stable finances who's generous humble down to earth loving caring like the list goes on and there's just a page there's someone who like there's someone who's still exploring life still someone who's way back 
in their journey like you're very you're way ahead of your person okay you're like better than your person you deserve better that's what they're thinking okay maybe this was a one-sided connection in the past this person was playing okay this person was just you know having fun but they caught feelings for you anyway so now they're trying to bring things back into place so they don't just they just don't know how to do that they have no idea and that's what they're thinking about they're thinking about just running away they're thinking about restarting things you know having a new start and just you know maybe going back in time and making some changes and they know that that's not possible which is why they're frustrated i don't know what happened between you guys but whatever happened it was it has impacted your person in a huge way negatively though okay this person has changed okay like they've gone through a transformation because of this connection they because they felt something that they've never felt before for anyone else they felt like they had to protect you they had to provide for you okay so they've never felt like this for anyone before it's like they felt that that oneness with you okay like your fam you're their homie you're someone who needs to be protected okay that's how they felt so they they just keep thinking about that and they were confused they were in denial they were suppressing it but now the time like it's completely the times are completely different right now and they need to move the connection forward by themselves they need to put in the hard work like you did or if this is a this is a person from the past that you're asking about or someone who you've been you've been dealing with for, for a long time and maybe you know in the past you were the one who was dragging the connection forward and one day you just gave up and you f were focusing on their on your own goals on your own endeavors you were doing the right thing because this person was just you know like this person is known for being a player or you know someone who's playful someone who's really immature and who has a lot to learn and right now they also have a lot to learn but they want to learn with you that's what i'm getting here and this person is thinking about moving this connection forward even though they're the only ones who are there in this connection they don't care even though it's one-sided they still want to be in it because this connection feels like no other it's heaven it's an escape for a person from reality it's like a getaway now it's up to you completely if you wanna like you know if you wanna be in this connection or if you wanna move on it's completely your decision you make the rules and if you're just you're like yeah maybe you guys are just here for fun okay you're just here to see what your person's thinking and this was very unexpected for some of you guys that's not what you were willing to hear but that's what what came up and that's how a person actually feels and that's what they think so yeah they want to have it all with you they think about having it all with you pile three you mean the world to your person you are their world day by day they are falling more and more in love with you and they don't even realize it that's how mature they are and I feel sad for your person, okay, that they, because they, they've been involved with such people who were, you know, just toxic, who used to mask their feelings, who were just, you know, focusing on their own personal gains, okay, so that's, you know, like, your person has, like, they grew up with such people and your person couldn't think the other way even though they fell in love with you they couldn't realize it until it was too late and it is too late you know you guys have moved on already for some of you guys you've already moved on or if this is a new connection this person feels like it's too late to fall in love now even though they are in love with you it was like love at first sight for many of you guys like your generosity your How you put others above yourselves it really impressed your person and they never they expected and they never expected for something like this to happen they never they never meant for someone like you to 
you know, catch their attention or something, but they eventually did. And they couldn't help it. And they just fell in love, it just happened. They couldn't stop thinking about you since then. Okay, and even maybe they are in, a, in another relationship for some of you guys, a toxic one though. And they need to get set their priorities straight. So they're in a pickle here. They need to, their hands are tired. They need to sort things out by their own selves. No one can help them. They need to put in the hard work. They need to take this forward. Okay, and they're getting their karma right now. They're getting their karma, file three. And they, they understand that. They understand that hurting you has caused them. Was the worst decision of their life, okay? It was the worst decision of their life. It has caused them a lot of hardships, not only in their finances, not only in their career, but also in their family, okay? Like also in their relationships with other people. So they do understand how much pain they've caused you. Even though they couldn't understand it, com they, they couldn't understand it completely, they're trying to understand it, okay? So now it's up to you if you want to be with this person or not. And that's that. And I hope this resonated. If this didn't resonate, you can check out the other files in this reading or check out more videos on my channel. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, you guys. Bye. Have a good day and be safe.